As storms keep moving through central Florida, the survivor of a lightning strike is urging everyone to be careful. She lost her husband when lightning hit their boat in Brevard County last week. Tonight, she is sharing her story with New Six's Emily McLeod. A Sunday, Tiana Sloan and her husband Peter Strong woke up early to squeeze in a little fishing time before severe storms rolled into Brevard County. Now, Tiana is recovering after their boat was struck by lightning. Her husband Peter was killed. Tiana says Peter was a boating expert, often taking it out three to four times a week. He knew boating, he knew the weather, he loved me, you know what I mean? So he, he would never have jeopardized my life if he thought. It was unsafe. Tiana asked for her face to not be shown on camera, but can be seen here holding one of her husband's favorite hats. As the storms arrived, Tiana and Peter made the decision to head back to the marina, which was just a few minutes away, rather than waiting out the storm somewhere else for several hours. We couldn't see, but at that point, there was nowhere for us to go. We were, we were two minutes from our dock. I would do anything to get those three or four hours back. Tiana says if being struck and killed by lightning can happen to an experienced boater like her husband Peter, it can happen to anyone. Next time you're out in the boat, don't, don't think that you can make it. Think the opposite. Think you won't make it and save your life, you know. Her message is clear. The risk just isn't worth it. Wish I could change it. That's all. Tiana wants Peter to be remembered as a loving father and husband who wanted to share his passion for fishing, boating, and the water with everyone in his life. He was just a wonderful person and one of the best fish fishermen I've ever met in my life. As a way to honor Peter, Tiana has set up a GoFundMe for his 14-year-old daughter for when she is older. If you'd like to donate, you can head to our website, clickorlando.com. In West Melbourne, Emily McLeod, Getting Results, News 6.